How's it going, you sexy beasts? Welcome to the first edition to a new series I want to start up called Certified Badass. If you guys like this video, then I'll continue to make some more. In this series, I will be discussing how to spend your first bundle of certification points for each class and how best to adapt your weapons and fighting style to the role of each particular class. This series will be geared more toward newer players as a means to help them out while first starting off their career. If you're a veteran Planet Side 2 player, this will probably be old information, but stick around anyway, you might learn something. Anyway, today I'll be covering the Heavy Assault class since they are the easiest to pick up and learn how the entire world of Planet Side 2 operates and rolls. The Heavy Assault class is the bread and butter foot soldier of all three factions, as they're rightfully so. Armed with a lead spewing light machine gun and rocket launcher, they are a fierce opponent for other infantry and heavy armor alike. If this is your first time picking up the Heavy Assault class and you're just looking into the certifications allowed, you might be a little overwhelmed at everything available. There's a lot of choices, but I'll help narrow them down. First off, let's go ahead and cover the first big one certification point you'll spend, Nano Eve Armor. This item fits in your soldier's suit slot and increases your total amount of health by 10%, bringing your health up to 550 and total effective health to 1050. Most weapons are clocked in to deal exactly 1000 damage or 1001 damage, so increasing your effective health by 50 will mean that the enemy you're fighting will need to shoot you one more time in order to kill you. That may not sound like much, but in any first person shooter it's a game of seconds or even milliseconds. Extending your life by just one bullet could mean a juicy kill for you, or you looking at the respawn screen. As I'm sure you've no doubt noticed by now, there's some universal certifications as well. These allow for the use of medical kits and can be used by all infantry classes aside from the max units. Honestly, the second best certs you can spend are the 30 certification points for the restoration kit. Equipping this allows the use of a syringe type tool that will heal you over time, which is pretty much like having a pocket medic. This will allow your battlefield staying power to be much higher since you, are, you can essentially heal yourself back up to full health if you're about to die. Totally worth the 30 certs, even if just for one syringe. You can spend up to 830 certs total in order to carry up to 4 medical kits on your soldier at once. Now that is pretty awesome. Next up, we'll talk a little bit about the ability slot for the Heavy Assault. By pressing the default key of F, you'll activate the Nanite Mesh Generator. This is practically a shield that absorbs all damage while active, but will drain from its energy pool over time or when damage is taken. If you're starting out, I highly advise spending 50 certification points to grab the Resist Shield. With this new shield active, you'll reduce all damage taken by 45% and will not drain the energy pool when damage is taken, but only while active. So you can take a lot more hits and pretty much boost your total effective health more with the resist shield as opposed to the nanite mesh generator. So go ahead and couple this shield in with your extra 10% health and enemies will be crying out that you are practically invincible. Just make sure to press F while you're in the middle of a firefight or the resist shield will be of no use. Now on to the weapons. The Heavy Assault class sports a light machine gun and has access to a few different types of rocket launchers as well. If you're playing the Terran Republic, your light machine gun is the T9 Carve, a fast firing and medium damage weapon with a large 100 round magazine. The rocket launcher you'll be sporting is the ML7. The Vonner Sovereignty rock out the Orion light machine gun which fires and reloads extremely quickly but only has a 50 round magazine and they start off with the S1 rocket launcher. Lastly, the new conglomerate Heavy Assault Soldiers start off with the NC-6 Goss Saw, which is a very slow firing light machine gun, but has loads of damage with a trade-off of massive recoil. Their default rocket launcher is the Shrike. Overall, you're going to be the bane of just about everything. Your light machine guns will tear through infantry, and your rocket launchers can bring down hell on aircraft and vehicles alike. The default rocket launchers for each faction are dumb fire munitions, meaning that you just point and click the launcher in the direction of the enemy and fire the rocket away in one direction of the target. Each rocket deals a total of 1,700 damage and will only kill a full health foot soldier if the rocket comes in direct contact with them. The damage lost from splash damage is too great to kill enemies in a radius of the explosion. Now, luckily for us, not all the rocket launchers are dumb fire. There's two other variants, anti-air and anti-ground. Both come with fully loaded with a lock-on feature, which allows for a much re more reliable damage source depending on what you're fighting. 
In order to lock onto a vehicle, all you have to do is aim down the sight and wait until the reticle turns from red to green. After firing, the rocket will follow the target for a short time. The available anti-ground rockets are the M9 SKEP launcher for the Terran, the Crow for the new conglomerate, and the Hades for the Vonir. These launchers will allow for locking on to hostile ground targets only and also allow for dumb fire if launched without a lock. The anti-air launchers are the Hawk for the new conglomerate, the Nemesis for the Vonu, and the ASP-30 grounder for the Terran. All of the lock-on rockets deal 200 damage less than the dumb fire rockets, but allow for the munitions to more reliably hit their target. This is a matter of preference, honestly. I personally stick with the dumb fire rockets or the more powerful NS decimator launcher allowed for all the factions. So, I'm sure you're asking yourself, yeah, yeah, that's all fine and dandy. What's so great about this class? The fact that you can stand and fight anything is what's so great. You can go on a massive kill streaks with the amount of ammunition you can carry and can easily take out tanks if you're landing rockets in their backside. Fighting infantry may be a hassle at first, but just be quick on hitting your shield key before or during a firefight and you'll more than likely prevail. Alrighty, on to some certification spending. You've already spent one cert on Nano Weave and 50 on the Resist Shield, but that is only for when you're first learning the class. As you become more experienced with the awesomeness of Heavy Assault, I strongly urge you to invest some points into the default Nanite Mesh Generator and the Advanced Shield Capacitors for your suit. I usually drop targets pretty easily, but they leave my shield depleted every once in a while, and I have to take cover until it's fully recharged. The advanced shield capacitors allow the recharge rate to be decreased by 2.5 seconds, getting you back into the fight pretty easily. As for the nanite mesh generator, I prefer this over the resist shield after you've got a few certs spent into it so the recharge time isn't as long. This shield will completely void out damage you take as opposed to just reducing it. Since I'm not using nanoweave armor anymore, then the resist shield just doesn't hold its luster. Since you already own one level of the Nanite Mesh, all you have to do is spend 130 to get the next two levels total, and that regeneration rate will suffice with Guerrilla Warfare. As for the Advanced Shield, you can easily get four levels by spending just 141 certification points, which will reduce the time needed before recharging of your shields occurs by two seconds. As this is a game of seconds, that is a pretty awesome advantage. So there you have it ladies and gentlemen, the first trial of Certified Badass covering the Heavy Assault. If you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down and let me know what I can improve on. Hopefully you found it both informative and entertaining. Want to suggest what the next episode should cover, be it main battle tanks, aircraft, or perhaps another class? Go ahead and drop a comment below or just let the whole world know that you absolutely love the now extinct Twinkies. Want to see more videos like this and more? Go ahead and subscribe! It's free!